This video was sponsored by Envado Elements. It was to be expected, right? I didn't enjoy the lack of a real Mandalorian Season 2 poster and considering Season 1 also just had a teaser poster, I decided to make my own using this new image as a base. Stay tuned. For those of you guys who haven't subscribed yet and like my content, make sure to subscribe and smash the bell to stay notified about future videos. As I said, I'm gonna make my own Mandalorian poster using Photoshop. Let's not waste any time and get started. It all started with this image, which I took from Envato Elements, today's sponsor. I'm telling you, for good quality images, Envato Elements is your place. Anyway, I started by blending out the sky into a dark black starry sky. For that, I used an additional starry image to fill the entire sky with the cute little twinkles. There you go, beautiful. I dropped in the main Mando image, and since it's pretty much the only cool looking image we've got from season 2, I didn't have many options there. For this poster, I didn't want to go wild in the first place though, I just wanted a poster that had a little more to offer than this, but still looked professional professional, and epic of course. To add some life to the sky, I added a planet, which is supposed to be this planet from the trailer, which I think is Yevin, but I'm not sure, except this one is actually Earth. Don't tell anyone. Oh, and guess what? That's also from Envato Elements. However, I wanted it to pop more, so I added a nice glow to it. It's pretty obvious this whole thing is going to be a split tone of orange, yellowish, and blue. That's why I already applied this split tone to the planets, blue on the right and orange on the left. It looked like pure death at this point, but don't worry, I was going to fix that later. Somehow I just kind of dropped that whole topic for a while to finish it later. I don't even know. Mando has a very blown out highlight on his right and our left. So that meant I had to put something very bright behind him in order for this to work. I decided this was gonna be a sunset type vibe, so I made the sky in the background a little more reddish and a whole bloody lot brighter. Like the teaser poster we got, he obviously had to stand or walk on something, so I found this image of some rocks. I removed the ugly white background and tried darkening it up a whole lot. To make sure it looks at least a little decent already, I made sure it's quite deep blue so it matches the background image and sky better. The background on the left however was orange so I had to add some highlights already. At first this looked very awkward and weird but later on it kept improving until we arrived at the ok enough point. I slightly adjusted the darkness levels of the Mendo image to make sure it matches the ground. Then I realized the blue color or light is clearly coming from the right so I flipped the ground image to match that. This made the highlights look like absolute sh** though so I had to fix those too. I used an exposure adjustment layer to add a nice shadow under Mendo's feet, creating the effect that he's actually standing on this rock instead of magically hovering over it. I didn't spend all too much time on it though, like usually at the start of things I make, I just first want to have some things in place before actually making it look nice, purely because I can't stand looking at a monstrosity for two hours long. I thought, heck, let's just add a logo already, because that we did get in high resolution. I kinda just dropped it on there without really doing anything else with it, just temporarily thing. Anyway, here's the risky part. I wanted to add Boba Fett in this poster too. Now, half the reason I did that was because it's a huge... Honestly, at this point, I don't even know if it's really a rumor anymore or if it's confirmed, but the point is, there's a chance that Boba Fett is gonna make an appearance in the new season, but the main reason I put him in so big, that's just because he's cool as heck and has Mandalorian armor. I mean, duh. As you can see, I started making some subtle highlights using hue and saturation, but I wasn't quite satisfied with how that looked. So after I was done doing the first layer, I added the same shape, except with an exposure adjustment layer. That's a new thing I used recently. Exposure brings more color levels to the table instead of just being one flat color. Some people might prefer using blend modes, but for me this works great. It still looked shitty though, so I added some more color and lighting layers to add some depth to the guy. And there you go, that looks absolutely fantastic. I had this speeder bike that seemed kinda cool, especially since we saw some in the new trailer as well, but those were white, so I gotta change the color later. And I had the Razor Crest, of course, which I started to cut out first. Once that selection was complete, I started trying to get the colors right, but that wasn't quite as easy as I anticipated. I did some highlights first and the overall coloring later, but it just really didn't feel right. Not only because of the colors and everything, but mostly just the placement, it felt very out of place. But before fixing that though, it's it, it's so funny, through my work you can tell exactly what kind of person I am, like I can never just do one thing at a time, I have to do everything simultaneously, it's horrible. Anyway, I added a subtle glow around the edges of Mando, creating this glare effect. His highlights are very blown out, so this only seemed fitting. Talking about what's fitting, you know what's really fitting? To get an Envato element subscription if you're a digital creator. Frank, take it away.
As you guys know, Patrick passed away recently, we're still trying to figure out the cause of death, but anyway, today I'll be your sponsor host. Today's sponsor, Envato Elements, is as many of you already know, a huge database of stock photos, videos, templates, graphics, fonts, photoshop add-ons and much much more. Benny's been using it a lot for sure and not only images, they have awesome overlays like these as well and Benny uses these all the time. And sometimes you need these really specific things from really specific angles. And Vado Elements completely destroyed that problem with their 3D library. There's tons of random objects like uh, literally it doesn't end and you can just rotate around it to find your required angle and then download it with a transparent background as a PNG or Photoshop file. That's probably the absolute most useful thing on Elements and Benny uses that a lot for sure often too. Is that even English? I don't know. Get a subscription with my special link down below and keep in mind it is super affordable for the ridiculously large amount of stuff you get, so go check it out. But now let's continue our You forgot the part about the collaboration. Dude, what do I pay you for? Oh, oh, yeah, of course, sorry. Benny also participated in this awesome Envato video in which he and three other digital artists all give their own Photoshop tips in one video featuring Nemanja Sekulik, Piximperfect and Imad Awan. You can find the link of that video in the description below or click in the right corner there to watch it. That's it, thanks Frank. Honestly, dude, it's highly appreciated. By the way, I really hate what happened to your friend Patrick the other day. Aw, oh, thanks man, I'm very honored to there you go. Now, on to our Mando adventure. While that speeder bike was uncomfortably doing its thing right down there, I thought it would be a great idea to fix up some prominent issues. I made the lower area of the rock image dark so it would look better with the logo and stuff. I kinda changed up the colors of the background sky and now finally applied the split tone effect to the planet too. It still looked pathetic, but well, as chaotic as I am, I moved on to something else again. Wow, what a surprise. The logo looked a bit weird to me since basically the whole thing has a split tone orange and blue and the logo just, well, blue. So that's why I added the same colors to the logo as well. For some out of this world reason, I thought it was a good idea to put a TIE fighter right there in the middle behind Mando and Boba and praise the lord I didn't go through with that because I really don't know what I was thinking. I adjusted the colors and lighting of the planet again to then create a background haze to bring some more atmospheric depth in the artwork. That was a great decision, or at least in the end it was gonna be a great decision, not really sure what this is. Obviously that also needed to be a split tone, so well, I did that and honestly, finally, it was starting to look a little pretty cool. And the scout is still chilling there. Then for some reason I still hadn't deleted the tie and... Now, this right here was a very important change and a very very good one. I moved up everything except for the logo to make sure the logo has enough black area to stand out, because clearly it didn't do that before. That looked a whole lot better composition wise. Beautiful. I could even keep the Star Wars logo on it this way. Boba Fett was still floating though, so I had to fix that really quick. First I did the shadow below his feet, then started changing up some of Mando's highlights, and then I darkened Boba his feet again to match the rock and well that looks a lot better. I added some more haze and dust in between Mendo and Boba to create some distance between them. I mean like I'm pretty sure these helmets are covid proof but you, I mean you can't be too careful. And I was convinced the Razor Crest had to be somewhere in this poster but also knew it couldn't be in front of them. Where I usually go for artistic posters in which size and placement doesn't really matter, for this poster I wanted to maintain the correct sizes and placement, at least a little. So I put the crest behind them. Genius right? It took a bit of work but in the end it looked pretty nice. I aimed for this really hazy bright background so everything was supposed to look very well bright and light exactly like this. Out of nothing the freaking speeder bike popped up again like the heck. I added some more haze layers between Boba and Mando and everything started to come together nicely. I also got rid of the blue bright areas on his chest plate and everything because well I don't really see any blue on the left side of the whole thing but for now yeah. I made the logo a little smaller to give it more room to breathe and finally I was gonna add some more characters, starting with Ahsoka. My initial plan was to use my own Ahsoka from last video, but one, her pose was a bit weird and two, the opinions were very mixed about that and for this poster I wanted to make sure that at least that wouldn't be a problem. That's why I used an image from the Rebels TV show and I know how it seems weird to use an animated character but I tried replacing her face and trust me, you don't want to see that, it was a nightmare. Besides, it's quite small anyways and when we get the actual photos of her 
Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka, I can just replace her. I added the right colors to her and that looked quite clean. I also made sure to have the orange light coming from the left as well and that helped a lot. For Grief Karga, I just took a frame from the trailer so he's not very high resolution but oh well, it's small in the background anyway, who cares. I added the same colors and lighting as I did with Ahsoka's and finally I also dropped in Cara Dune behind him. My idea of depth worked really well in this case and uh, well, it looks pretty stylized and dreamy. And bloody hell, it took me all this time to figure out the scout wasn't gonna work. Like, the idea was nice, execution wouldn't have been all that nice. I also added some death troopers, assuming we're gonna see those again in the series, and some stormtroopers because, well, why not? I was missing something in the sky though. So, to even it out, I added two TIE fighters on the right and two X-wings on the left. To the TIE fighters, I applied some highlights in orange and blue again, and to my own surprise, that actually worked. I remember this not going all that well on previous work, so that's why. That whole same thing I also did with the X-Wings, except I didn't do the blue because, I don't know, it just didn't, didn't really seem right. And to enhance the whole thing, I added some general effects like extra glow, a little rim glow around the blue highlights of Mando, and I experimented a little with blend modes and colors, making one side a bit more reddish and the other a bit more brilliant and deep. I also added the line, this is the way, because this is the way, with a film called Manifold, which looks very similar to D in The Mandalorian, so that seemed pretty cool. And now it was finally time for a... Why do I always make it sound so special and epic? It's just a filter. It's time for a camera raw filter. For those of you who don't know, it's basically the same thing as Adobe Lightroom, except inside Photoshop. It's mainly just coloring and lighting, very detailed and cool. I moved every slider I could find and there you go. That is the final result. Except after that, I thought maybe it would be cooler if I replaced the Mando logo with a Disney Plus logo to make it look more professional because I myself didn't really like the split tone effect on the logo. So, well, I'm not gonna lie, I think the Disney logo looks way better than the Mando logo in this case. Case, but I made two versions anyway because I'm extra like that and honestly I'm super happy with how it turns out. I think I prefer this over all my previous Star Wars posters. I really dig this one. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Now onto my favorite Instagram post on hashtag Benny Review. This looks super legit. I thought something Star Warsy seemed like a good idea since it's all about Star Wars again today and then I saw this and I gotta say dude this is fantastic. The red and blue, the diagonal composition, yes. It's made by Say full creation, awesome work. Wanna see your edits on my favorite Instagram posts? All you gotta do is tag hashtag BennyReview on your next post. Don't forget to check out Envato Elements and possibly getting a subscription by using the link below and then I guess that's it for today. If you like this video make sure to leave a like and a comment and if you enjoy my overall content feel very free to subscribe, it would mean the world to me. Oh and also hit the bell to stay notified about future videos. Then I hope I'll see you in my next video.